Okay, this is what we call a mixture problem. We've got some cashews that sell for that amount, some Brazil nuts that sell for that amount per pound. And we want to know how many of pounds of each of those should we mix together to give us 34 pounds, sell for 568 per pound. So let's let X and Y represent the number of pounds of cashews and the number of pounds of Brazil nuts, respectively. This must be true because we want the number of pounds in the mixture to be 34. X plus Y is 34. Then as far as money goes, if we take 6.2 times X, the number of pounds of cashews will have the amount of money that the cashews are worth. So for example, if X was two pounds, this would be $12.4. Uh, y is the number of pounds of Brazil nuts. Multiply that times 4.6, we'll get the value of the Brazil nuts in the mixture. And we want the total mixture to be worth 34 pounds times 568. Now, I would normally solve this using the substitution method because it's easy to get one of the variables by itself in one of the equations. So y equals 34 minus x. I substitute that for y into the other equation. We could clear the equation of decimals right now by multiplying every term by 100. But I thought I'd work it out this way this time. Distribute the 4.6. I get 4.6 times 34 minus 4.6 times x. I can combine similar terms here. That gives me 1.6x equals, and if I subtract 4.6 times 34 from the other side, I get this right here. And now I did multiply top and bottom of this fraction right here by 100 to clear it, the equation of decimals. I fully expected x to be an integral num integer number of pounds, but it turns out it's not. It's 22.95 pounds. Use a calculator to figure out what that uh, fraction is. Subtract that number from 34, and you've got the number of pounds of Brazil nuts. Here's confirmation. Number of pounds of cashews was 22.95. Brazil nuts, 11.05. I put those values into this equation right here. It's $193.12, which is, in fact, the value of the mixture. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.